Watch Plate. My name is Luke Smith, and this is... Rodney Smith. And I feel like a whole new Rodney Smith. A Rodney Smith who knows how to listen to the viewers. Last time, Dare Machine got the most votes. And I basically ignored his suggestion to my peril. This time, however, Dare Machine once again got the most votes, and I am going to listen. I'm going to do my best to take your advice. The first thing that he wants me to do here, I'm going to stand my monster up, is try to move into this neighborhood here. So I'm just going to come around the table so I can get a slightly better angle. Now what Dare really wants me to do, if possible, is flick my monster into this neighborhood, but also be on the sidewalk here so I might be able to destroy this building and grab some floors. But I have a couple of options here. Even if I don't get onto the sidewalk, the main thing I'm trying to do is get into this neighborhood. So we'll see. Oh, that's not so great. Okay, I am touching the sidewalk, but I'm not in this neighborhood yet. I'm going to have to flick it again just to get into the neighborhood. Hopefully still stay on the sidewalk, though. There we go. Well, Dare, I did most of what you wanted me to do. I would have liked to have been able to knock down this building, maybe gobble up some floors, but at least I'm in this neighborhood. And I know you wanted me to be there so that I could gobble up some seniors, because Luke really likes to eat those seniors. So I have a retainer. That means I always have at least four teeth for the purposes of chowing down, even though I actually only have two teeth left showing on my monster. I'm going to eat a senior that's here, a senior that's here. I'm going to eat this journalist, and there is a businessman just sort of slid underneath of this building, but touching the neighborhood, but I'm going to try to fish out, and thankfully I didn't knock anything over. Okay, well that's going to end my turn, Luke. It's over to you. What do you want to do for your first action? I'm going to move. I'm glad to hear you're moving, because I thought for sure you were going to flick this truck at me. And we all know how good you are at doing that action. Well, I wanted to. Oh, you did? Okay. Well, I'm glad you showed some restraint. Let's go ahead and see that move action. Okay. Is that where you wanted to be? Yep. What's your next action? Blow. Well, as you can see, I've actually rotated the board. And that's because the table's so big, Luke can't reach to get his chin on his monster. <laughs> but now he should be able to. I have to say, Luke, the blow action is the hardest one for me. I wish you better success. You ready to do this? Yes. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> well, you did manage to knock a couple off the board, but look at that. You got the senior off. Now, Luke, did you intend for these two meeples to fly off the city? No, but I'm glad they did, because it puts you in a more risky position. <laughs> it sure does. If one more meeple leaves this city during my actions, I'm going to fill up this row. You know what? That does make me very nervous. I am not going to try to destroy this building. You like should. I... Don't tempt me, Luke. <laughs> Don't tempt me. No, I'm going to listen to the viewers. I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to try to destroy this building. But I am going to try to knock you over. I am going to try to toss a vehicle and hit Luke. Let's see if I can do it. So I'm going to take the vehicle that's right here, line up my shot, and I knocked you over. Well, Luke doesn't have any teeth to give me for knocking him over. So instead, he's going to have to give me two meeples of your choice from behind your screen for me to put in my stomach. Do you know what you want See, to give me? I'll give you these two. Okay, a journalist, a blue meeple, and an army man. It's green. Okay. Well, I have a second action now. The reality is, though, I don't want to do anything else. The rules don't provide an option to pass specifically, but if I wanted to, I could just take a blow action and then blow. Totally fail it. Yeah, which I always do anyway. <laughs> but I could just not blow hardly at all. Or I could take a flick action and, and, and miss, I guess, or just tap at the slightest little bit. So I think really it's kind of passing is an option if you really want to. So that's what I'm going to do. It's time for me to chow down. Let's go to the board and see what I can eat. So for the four meeples I'm going to eat, I'm taking this hero, this senior, this journalist, and this blonde. Now I had Luke come around and confirm as well because it looks very close. But his foot on this corner is just barely touching this neighborhood. And she, although she's in the dirt, the dirt is part of this yellow neighborhood. So I'm grabbing those four, and my turn is over. All right, so Luke's going back up on his paws. And what's your first action going to be? Well, I'm going to move. Now, when Luke mentioned this to me, it was a surprise because I thought for sure he was going to take a vehicle and toss it at me for revenge. Whoa, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> 
you're not fooling me. And I know you're not fooling any of them. You are definitely that kind of guy. So what's the real reason? Come on, confess. <sighs> because I might knock a meeple off the board. Right, I'm right beside a building here. There's a good chance you hit me. One of these guys goes off the board. Or even if I fly this way, I might knock one of those meeples off the board. And that's bad for Luke. Because then he would not only lose a tooth, which would have to mean he gives me two meeples, but then I get to put him in any neighborhood I want, and you know I'm going to put you in a neighborhood where there's no meeples to chow down on at all. So, this is probably the smart, safe thing to do. Let's see how his move goes. Okay, here I go. Just what I wanted. So what's your second action going to be? Nothing. You're just going to pass? Yeah. Well, then it's time to chow down. I'm going to eat the senior and this businessman. Well, once again, it's time to turn things over to you guys. I think I did a pretty good job of restraining myself, and it was really hard. So please, reward me. Next episode, let me destroy something. <laughs> I know it's risky, but I really want to smash this building. But once again, if you don't think I should, I'll do what you say. <laughs> Put your suggestions in the comments. If you like what someone says, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like it, propose your own suggestion. Maybe someone else will give that a thumbs up. Whichever one gets the most votes, that's what we'll come back and do. Until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.